It's the uh, fifth and final local government challenge and we're with Cumbria County Council up in Carlisle. The challenge this time is for the contestants to consider how they can improve the face-to-face -face offer for customers, but they also need to take into consideration the digital first approach that the council has. What we're really interested in is how in a big rural county like ourselves you can, you can both improve your face-to-face -face offer to customers and also really promote the digital opportunity. So it's really great to get their perspective on how you know, people like themselves would use digital means to transact. But actually thinking about the wider population, how would you attract them into using customer services and if you really need face-to-face, -face, how best to do that. It's been really fascinating this morning. We've had a range of things, in particular visiting a library, which was really a kind of a Rolls-Royce library that every single service you could think of was in there. And so I think what we're trying to do now is think about what it is that make libraries so good at dealing with their customers, so adaptive to, to needs and, and be able to change and, and add in new services over time and see if we can um, take that model and apply it to other services the council provide. The face-to-face -face element of the challenge has needed a, a bit more thought in than I initially assumed. Um, that's uh, come about from the, the travel to the community hub and the Q&A that we've just held at the Equality Group. My team are now uh, working on a strategy to combat that and thankfully there are a couple of ideas that, we, that we've got on board that we're just uh, ironing out now and hopefully we'll have something strong for tomorrow. We've had some uh, news this morning and uh, Peter has had to hot foot it back to London because his wife's gone into labour which has left uh, Team Ambition without a captain. We decided that we didn't need to nominate a new team leader formally. Um, we're all going to focus on different elements of what needs to be done to complete the challenge. Our idea is called the Digital Leg Up, a fund of money that uh, staff who are out in the community um, having face-to-face -face contact with uh, people can access to help them get online. So uh, we want to encourage staff to be really creative about how they use this money and that will enable people to use digital services and make online transactions, which we know is better for the council because it saves them money, uh, it's better for individuals because it uh, gives them more connection uh, to other people and also saves them money. Our proposal is called Thriving Cumbria. It's going to be based around improving the face-to-face contacts the customer have uh, with the council with the help of existing partners, uh, some new partners and the community assets that are already available. Very last challenge. Can't believe that you've got so quickly through that series of five. It seems hardly any time at all since we were talking for the first time. So team ambition, you're going first. The winners today, the winners of this challenge here in Cumbria are, I need to get this right, need to get this right, are Team Ambition. Well done. Great. Amazing. Yeah. It feels really good. We're really proud of what we've collectively achieved and we really hope that we've done Pete proud. Well, we, we, we're pretty sure we have. <laughs> For Pete. Yeah. For Pete. Yeah. First team just had that little bit of an edge. It was greater clarity and what I think that here in Cumbria we're looking for is some, uh, something that we could uh, get off the ground, get moving with and get delivered. We've reached the end of a really successful 2018 Local Government Challenge with I think a brilliant challenge hosted by Cumbria County Council. It's not all over, we now have to go away and plug into our computer programme all the scores that all of the contestants have been allocated over the course of five months. Um, and once we've done all our calculations, we will find out which four are going to go through to the final in Birmingham. Carter, Amanda and Ellen, you are all joining us for the final in Birmingham. So huge congratulations. You will notice that there is one chair left unfilled. We've got three of you who are, whose scores are so close and very quickly we've made a decision that Hannah could be joined in that, that chair. <laughs> we have our four finalists. We will see them in Birmingham in July and I'm really looking forward to seeing what their proposals are for the Bruce Lockhart Scholarship.